farm originally uh, uh, was founded sometime during the Civil War. Uh, it was a cotton farm for uh, hundred uh, over 150 years. I got the farm myself here in uh, 1993 and began to do uh, some experimental work at that time. So the idea was to kind of rebuild, uh, to restore some of the original soils that existed before the cotton epic of the cotton farmers to build up the soil organic matter. So that's the overall objective of the farm here is to soil restoration and all the various agricultural techniques with the long run, the long view towards uh, restoring the productive capacity of the soil. The research that's been going on here has been going on for, for years. This is really at this point the culmination of someone's 40 year career um, and uh, it's a combination of the careers of many different scientists and students that have come here and worked here. I would like for it to be a place that um, is a repository for knowledge where people can come and reference uh, and understand a lot of the work that's been done in the past and crash test stuff that hasn't been done yet in these difficult climactic growing situations in the south. Agriculture is difficult here, but it's a way of life. I think people should be able to come here and understand what um, the Southeast is about. There are very site-specific things that they can research here, but there's some uh, blanket universal applications out there. We want to communicate about those. We now know enough to make agriculture more ecologically sustainable. Now what we need to do is put into practice what we already know. That's the big challenge. Uh, is putting into practice what we already know that has to be done. It is important that we view the environmental movement and the conservation movement and this heightened awareness to be more sustainable as a um, major grassroots movement a compilation of a lot of small acts that are leading to um, very strong, uh, very strong movement and working towards results. So what we're trying to do is understand how nature works and then mimic or understand those procedures and incorporate those into our management systems. And so what we're saying is working with nature, working with all these mechanisms, these, these natural recycling services of nature rather than fighting against them and trying to suppress them and replace them with chemicals. I think Spring Valley is trying to be an incubator. I think we want to push the envelope and invite people to have a dialogue with us about what they think could happen in terms of sustainable behavior. And I think that we are looking at alternatives um, so that people can be more autonomous and more independent. It's using the free services of nature. So I think that we need to start thinking for ourselves a little bit more and not looking to other things or people for solutions or satisfaction. What gives me the most pleasure here, uh, satisfaction, is putting together all the pieces, all the, 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 the vegetables, annuals, the perennial fruit crops, the, uh, the plantation forests, the animal component, the pigs, the chickens, the, uh, the beef. And, and putting them all together in, in, a, in a complete whole into a complete system, organized system where the nutrients and energy are flowing within the system. To see that overall coming together of an organized system, I think, is, is just like the, the scientists seeing the data fit together into a, into a pattern. It can be a lot of things to different people. Um, it can be a lab, it can be a farm, it can be uh, an incubator, it can be uh, a home, uh, it can be uh, a work of art, it could be a museum. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to have four walls around it. 